people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello YouTube. This one right here, if you'll click on that picture right there, it'll take you, uh, it'll actually take you to the video. Uh, for some reason it wouldn't let me uh, embed it, the video in there. I tried, so the best I could do was embed the link, take a photo of it, and you can go to it that way. It's actually uh, disturbing information, so you might want to see it. There's a lot of stuff going on, folks. I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you there ain't. Um, it's just constantly going on. Uh, some of you seen my video from last night. Um, I'm hoping this turns out clearer than last night's. Um, to me, it looks blurry now. Um, I, I haven't figured out why it's causing that yet, or, or what's causing that yet. It shouldn't be doing that, but uh, for the life of me, I can't figure out why it's causing it. But anyway, there's a lot of information on my blog, folks. Um, for some reason, because of the 1871, um, my blog has uh, really slowed down a lot. Uh, so is my views on my videos. Um, they go up and down here lately. When they want information to go out, they'll let something go out, but if they don't want some certain information. It don't go very far. This one right here, folks, is another one. I posted a little bit on this earlier. But, um, but I uh, put this up. I wanted everybody to see it again. Uh, you need to go to the information because I added to this blog uh, quite a bit since this morning when I put it up, or not this morning, but uh, real, real late last night. I finished it up kind of this morning. But anyway, um, there's a lot of information here you can go read, and... I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, a lot of information. Uh, several different videos uh, that Alex put, Alex Jones put out and his crew. They did a very good job of putting uh, information out. Better for explaining than me. Um, I put it all together in kind of the order that uh, it come out. And I uh, made it all one blog. So, um, y'all need to check it out. See what's up there on the last three blogs that I've done. Um, there's a lot of great information on all three of them. Um, Alice Jones talks about all the information that's uh, been coming across about the uh, UN trying to take our guns um, and from for the life of me folks I, I mean all the treaties and all the bills that they've passed the NDAA uh, let's see the HR 347 bill the 900 and some odd executive orders that Obama's signed. And this has already happened when Bush was in office, so you need to watch that so you just get a real feel of things. All of these things that has already happened that's come into play. And there's still people out there that is, you know, just not awake. Um, you know, and I, I don't know what to tell y'all. Um, I don't know where we can go with this. 
Um, I know that everything that we've done, we've come a long way in this country by waking a, millions of people up. There's a lot of people that are awake that don't comment, don't say anything. They just watch the videos. They're scared to get involved. They want to stay underneath the, the black curtain. Well, that's okay and that's fine. But people, there's going to be a time that you're going to have to come out from underneath that curtain. Because well, that curtain's not going to help you. Uh, you you're going to have to you're going to have to step up. You're going to have to get ready. You're going to have to step up. And you're going to have to wake other people up too. Uh, it ain't nothing but talking to people. And if we go the biggest way if possible, if we go into fighting 1871, if we fight that executive, this is an executive order, people. If we go in and fight this executive order and delete this out of our history in the right manner and put our history back the way it's supposed to be before this was written and change our constitution to the original way it was written, a lot of this stuff will go away. Um, that's the best way I can tell you that. A lot of this will go away. But everybody's got to stick together. And everybody's got to fight together. And if we don't do that, then we're pretty much just spinning our wheels getting in here and saying, well, the Constitution ain't no good. We can't go by it. The Constitution, we can't do this. We can't do it. There ain't no such damn word as can't, people. You can do anything that you put your mind to. But you all got to stick together. You know what broke the backs in this country about the unions? People don't stick together. They really don't. They, they don't stick together. They have their own opinion and they think that everybody else is crazy. Their opinion's right and yours is wrong. And I understand that. And I'm not saying mine's right now. But I'm saying it's the best start that we have. It is the very best part, start. Because this is where everything fell in the shithole. From this point right here. From right here. From 1871 till now. Has gotten worse. We're taking our laws away, taking our freedoms away, giving us so many laws that you uh, can't walk down the street without being harassed by something or someone or whatever. And it's disappointing, heartbreaking to a lot of y'all. And we see these things go on. And the things that are going on with the police officers forcing their hand and uh, making bad judgments because they get irritated and mad. Because, you know, they do have a rough job. Nobody's saying they don't. But when a, a police officer goes up to a man, I'm going to refer you back to the little video where the the guy where the, where, where the guy started asking the question of you know what's your name who are you making sure that he was a, a police officer well that video got a lot of bad comments uh, mainly to the fact that you know the guy was uh, deliberately pushing the cop yeah he may have been and yeah he might not have should have done that I don't disagree with that but the one thing I do do agree with is number one the main reason why I uploaded the video 
is because the police officer says, do you understand me? He kept saying that. And if you notice, the guy kept saying, no, I do not understand. Did you notice that when he said that, and I'll put that video in the blog along with this video. Did you, did you see the cop back down until his supervisor got there? Well, if you are a cop, I understand uh, that y'all have a rough job. But if you are a cop, you took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. And let me add, I also know that you took an oath to uphold and defend the law. Which, that's two oaths. Um, the main and first off, first one counts is the Constitution over all other law. Whether you know that or not, which they don't teach you that, but that's a fact. The Constitution's first, then the law. The law comes from the Constitution, but you don't use it that way. Y'all use the law, including the stuff that y'all make live on. Y'all make up as you go, thinking that everyone is dumb. And that's all good and fine, too, because most people are. But you don't have to treat people like they're a piece of shit. And y'all been doing that a lot. You talk down to people. You don't talk at people. You talk down to them. Like they're below you. Do you understand me? Come on, man. If I walked up to you and you was a normal person and I said that to you, you'd think I was crazy. If you walked up and talked, do you walk up and talk to your daddy that way? Do you understand me? Was you raised that way? No, you wasn't raised that way. You don't even talk to your wife that way. Your wife probably hit you in the head with a friggin' pan. That's probably why most of you are divorced. Because you try that crap. So, you know, it, it's not, it's not good for no one to go through these things that we're going through. We don't have to, people. We don't have to. We can wake up and smell the roses. We can see the big light at the other end of the tunnel and make a better life better life for everyone if we do it the right way and let quit letting these people with the big money control you with their TVs and all their electronic products and all their bullshit that they controlling you with y'all need to get up out of that we all need to get up out of that we need to go on with our lives and quit letting the government do whatever they want and stop them from running over us the way they're doing. They're doing it in a very, very bad way. Yeah, Romney and Obama's up there. they running for election again and they telling everybody what everybody wants to hear. Everything's going to be great. Oh, everything's perfect. Obama even says that Clinton did it and everybody made big money. Well, Clinton did it, but he's the reason why we're in such a problem now to start with. And I voted for Clinton because I liked him, I thought. The second time. I didn't vote for him the first time. Point of it is, as I voted for the the least of the two evils and I've been doing that for a while but I don't know if we got that chance anymore the less of the two evils this time what does it mean it's just the opposite side of the coin gonna do the same thing that's what's been happening it's been happening that been happening that way ever since daddy Bush 
ever since then. And it ain't stopped. It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. He's the first, Daddy Bush was the first man that said New World Order. And you can see New World Order coming, people. That's, to my opinion, I think that's what the UN is to start with. I've seen that comment made a bunch today. And I'm not going to disagree with that myself. And if the people in this country, they put treaties on our, on our Second Amendment, on our guns, our gun rights, and the people just sit down like Germany back in those days, and they sit down and just handed their guns over, we do that in this country. I can tell you this. History is going to completely repeat itself. We're going to have Nazi Germany as a bad guys, And we're going to have the United States as a bad guy. And the same thing is going to happen to the United States that would happen to Nazi Germany. Um, I hope you people don't really want that. I really do. Because it's coming, people. As hard as it can. It's coming like a locomotive. There's things that's happened so fast in the last three and a half years that's just really freaking me out. And I know it's got to be freaking a lot of you out. With all the war talk and all the other crap. All the lies that's been told from one end of the government to the other end of the government the Democrats and the Republican are fighting like cats and dogs but yet when it's behind closed door they're having a beer together and say we sold them suckers something today didn't we people you keep thinking that and you see this little helicopter right over here <laughs> he's gonna be flying in your backyard he's gonna be flying in your backyard big time Speaking of those, I'm down here in Florida, and back's basically Jacksonville. Obama's supposed to be here Thursday. This morning at about 6.15, 6.30, I seen one of their little drone planes flying. I tried to get y'all a video of it, but uh, those little suckers are quick. It got out of sight too quick or too far away. It didn't... You, you wouldn't have seen it if I'd have even shot it. Even if I'd have blowed it up. Camera phones ain't, you know, 8 megapixels is alright, but it ain't that great. But anyway, folks, please get your friends to go to the blog and look at all this stuff. Check it out, send it to your friends. Um, our rights. And our freedoms are dying very fast. When it comes to 18, 1871, it comes to that executive order bill that's been in history for now a whole bunch of years. If we don't fix that and get rid of these mega corporations and get the corporation off of our names, as us being a corporation and them selling us on the stock market. If we don't get rid of all of that, folks, and come back as a sovereign country, we the people, there's no sense in us getting here making videos and bitching and moaning and groaning because they're going to take that away from you too. They've already took most of it away from you to a point to where you can't say a whole lot but anyway y'all have a great night and much love to y'all and at the bottom of this particular one it's got a little bit about the x-class solar flare on here too so y'all check it out as well so much love to y'all y'all have a great night and a great day um, I hope everybody 
enjoys my videos. Um, I don't know. It's getting a little discouraging uh, when I come back and I look at them and I see some people that I went with and they got great big views and I don't get none anymore. But anyway, 1871 is the truth. Good night. people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.